There are more than 60 towns that have banned marijuana sales before the law has even passed. Brick Mayor John Ducey is one of them. As far as recreational marijuana, uh, we decided not to have the stores, the cultivation, manufacturing and testing done here in Brick Township. Uh, basically, we have a uh, big senior population um, and they don't seem to be in favor of it. Jersey City Mayor Steve Fulop and Newark Mayor Roz Baraka thought the bill didn't go far enough in expunging criminal records of nonviolent marijuana offenders. They initially threatened to ban the sale of marijuana in the state's two largest cities. It is uh, highly hypo hypocritical to uh, tell people that we're going to now legalize marijuana, but you have to stay in jail or we're going to make it legal for people to distribute large amounts of marijuana, sell large amounts of marijuana, and you've been arrested for uh, less than that amount, uh, and we can't get your record expunged, or we can, we can only virtually expunge your record. I think that you need to expand the expungement component so that all nonviolent offenders can see expungement, and uh, I think we need more dollars allocated towards the automatic expungement. Although the bill didn't change, Baraka and Fulop came to support it, after the Murphy administration promised to address the expungement issue if and when it becomes law. Philip would also like to see the state offer more tax incentives for the communities that allow dispensaries. We wish that the local component of the tax share would be more significant than what it is. Right now it's in that 2 to 3 percent range, which is uh, a little bit light compared to some of the other states that have done this. Ducey also says that with a tax rate that low, the economics just don't make sense. And when you give that 3% that the state was allowing us to tax, it would end up being $75,000. That $75,000 would barely, if it does, co cover the employee that has to go around to each of those businesses to collect the actual cash proceeds. New Jersey League of Municipalities' Michael Serra supports a town's right to decide. What is the general sentiment of, of, of the community? If the community is not ready, you know, not ready to accept, if they just don't think it's right for their community, that's as important as any cost-benefit analysis that could possibly be done. If the bill passes, towns will have 180 days to ban the sale and growth of marijuana, and towns that have already implemented a ban will have to pass the ordinance a second time in order for it to take effect. In Jersey City, Joanna Gagas, NJTV News.